Hey everybody, it's Robin Scherzer with Robin Stampin' Hood. Welcome to Maker Monday. Whew, we're having a heat wave. How's everybody doing up there? I'm now very grateful at this time of year for my no heat studio. <laughs> uh okay we'll just hold out a second here um i was gonna we had a really fun class this weekend it was my um take to the sky class but i was calling it fly in saturday and we used this fun suite and i just kept playing with it more and i came up with some more ideas so i thought you know what uh for those of you that couldn't come i thought we'll play with this today so definitely call out if you're out there, say hello, and tell your friends about me. I would love to meet them and come to classes and all that fun kind of stuff. So this is the suite, Take to the Sky. It is on page 36. And the gals that were here this weekend, I showed them some pictures of my mom because I came from a um, a pilot, a family of pilots. My brother, my two dads, and my mom were all pilots. And I grew up around an airport and planes, and I was not a pilot because I would get sick. But I definitely got my adventure from my mom, and I was looking at some of the pictures, and she was on, um, she was a wing walker, and she was on these biplanes, these bi-wing planes. So I wanted to, to play a little bit more with those because I really... Um, was focused on the class and not on that. So we're going to play a little bit more with this paper. I want to show you, I know sometimes it's hard to see in the catalog what the actual paper looks like. So I always try to create this kind of thing. And I know it's a little hard to see too, but at least you can kind of see the colors that coordinate. And the paper just looks better in person, you know, than when you're looking in the catalog. So everybody got a pack of this paper and we just we did a lot of creating so i'm gonna do some more creating now one of my favorite pack or one of my favorite pieces in that pack is this excuse me all of a sudden I have the hiccups is this piece of paper here i love that you can cut these in strips of four inches and then you have different things that you can do. So, um, of course, I didn't bring my card samples over here. But like this weekend, we used this piece here and this piece here for making cards. <coughs> Excuse me. So, <coughs> oh my goodness. Um, so as I was looking at more of these, I was like, okay, I want to use some more. And excuse me, I'm going to go get a drink of water. Hold on one second. <coughs> I apologize. I don't know why all of a sudden I'm doing that. Okay. So um, I cut a, I cut apart uh, another one of these because you get two in each and then that's the back side is a fun little map with airplanes on it. But what I did is I cut some of the tags and I have not pre-made these. These are just kind of thoughts in my head. I pre-cut um, some of these tabs. So you know, you're cutting out the four inch line and then you're just running along your um, your track on your trimmer. And then what you're gonna do for the tag piece is just take your snips, if you can find your snips, take your snips and you're just gonna snip off right along that line, which I love because it's, a, it's just a cute little tag, right? I'm gonna do it on this one too, okay. And there we go there. And one of the B-sides of the paper is this fun little plaid. And I could use that side too, I suppose, if I wanted to. But I decided I wanted to use these two, or this back side. And um, as I showed you earlier, some of the coordinating is the blue, uh, boho blue, so that's my, my card base. So we're gonna do that first. Let me grab my bone folder. Again, I did not put these like, together ahead. I was just having all these different, oh, could I do that? Could I do that? And I was really focused on the bi-wing or the biplane that um, coming up with a different thing for that. So I'm gonna do this as my background piece. Um, so let's put that on real quick. And there we go. 
And this is one of the bundles um, that you can get on sale till the end of June. So it's an additional 10% off. You're already 10% off on the bundles. So that's my background. And then I want to, let's go ahead and do the inside of the card right away. And um, instead of using DSP, I thought, you know what? They have these cute little planes. So I'm going to just stamp that cute little plane and I'll just use my boho blue and we'll put that in the middle or in the corner I should say cute right so then you just have a little inside piece there love that let's go ahead and put that on right away how was everybody's weekend Mine was a little crazy. The gals on Saturday heard my story of woe, a six hour wait for a tow for Sage down in Chicago, which was not my idea of a good time Friday night, but she's getting her car taken care of, so that's all that matters. All right, so then the other thing I thought I would do is I wanna put this tag down here and this tag down here. And then I'm gonna use, um, the embellishments that come with it. So these are supposed to be like rivets and you can use really either side. Like I was using um, this side for my make and takes that I did during my catalog kickoff, just cause I like the texture of it. But when you turn it over, you can see it's a rivet, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and put those rivets on there. But before I do that, I wanna build my little biplane. So I thought that just to give it a pop of color, because I mean, these, these are beautiful colors together. They look great together, but I wanted more of a pop for the airplane. So I actually thought, you know what? I'm gonna do a yellow airplane. So you cut out the body. This is part of the set. You're cutting out the body there, and then you're going to just put some, you could, and I could have cut this out with the adhesive sheets, but I wasn't that smart um, forward thinking. So I'm just looking at it now, like where do I want to put the glue? Because obviously you don't want to put the glue up there because it's not going to attach to anything. So I'm going to put a little glue here, hit the wheels a little bit along here and along there, just so I know I'm not going to get glue everywhere, right? So we'll put a little here, dab the wheels a little bit, Want some down here and here, but not on that top wing. All right. And again, the adhesive sheets probably would work really nice with this, but I, again, was not that forward thinking and I just made myself go off a little bit. So there we go. Might have to take my little glue eraser and get rid of some of that glue there, but that's okay. And then I want to, I definitely want to pop it up, right? Because it's an airplane, it's flying, it needs to be above everything. So I'll take one of my edges there, another one here. That's what these edges are great for too, is like flat, if you want to get around the flat stuff, right? So... We go oh, nope that is a little too big for that gotta use up all your edges girls right girls and guys should i say and we'll put one right there don't be afraid to use them up right oh before i do that though we need to nail those down otherwise <laughs> they'll be flying not on purpose so we'll go ahead we're gonna put one down here this one down. So easy, right? And I do, I wanna try to not cover up this little plane. So let's see, we're gonna take our little backings off. Mm -hmm. All right, so maybe if I do it this way, it looks like he's crashing then, doesn't it? Or maybe I just go straight across. Maybe I'll just go straight across. We'll hide the wheels a little bit. Uh, or maybe like that. See, I hadn't thought about it. So then I did cut out some of the propellers. So you, when you get this set, the little die cut has um, uh, two propellers that you can cut out. 
So I'm just, oops, I probably put way too much glue there. Uh, let's see, hold on, hold please. We're gonna grab a little scrap piece. I'm gonna get rid of some of that. Otherwise, it's just gonna be gooey gooey everywhere. So I'm gonna put, so normally if a plane was just sitting there on the runway, you would have the one propeller, right? Well, I'm gonna put multiple propellers because it's you can see how it spins and you have that little bit of movement. So I'm going to do a couple propellers on here. So it looks like, I think I cut out enough, maybe. Um, so it kind of looks like it's spinning. There we go. Love it. So now it looks like it's spinning. Okay, so then let's go ahead and put our little rivets on. Oops. And honestly, glue dots are gonna work the best for this for you. So, and I'm gonna do it with the design side down. If I can get it out of the container. Okay. Do that. Come on, come on, little glue dot. Now I think I'm getting it stuck to my fingers because we've got to always have an embellishment, right? So there's our embellishment. Here's <coughs> our other embellishment. But we're missing a saying, aren't we? Let me get this out of the way. And I want to do... Um, this is from the Unbounded Beauty are these little these little tags here. So I think that one is going to be my choice, but let's look at this one too. You know, I like that one too, but I don't have the same. I was going to make this a happy birthday. So maybe do I have to go back to my my little tabs that we were doing the other day that I keep pulling and now I don't know where they are. So I don't know if we can do the tabs. Um, see, like I said, I just had this in my head, but you know what? I'm gonna go back to the original thought I had. stamp upside down. So if you're ever at my house and I have this happy birthday out, you must stamp upside down. <laughs> I think that's okay. We'll, work, we'll make that work, right? And then let's just, I think we'll just, maybe we'll like do it. Oh yeah, I like it that way much better than like going that way, right? Give it a little bit of um, an angle to it. Yes, I do like that. Okay, so we're going to do that then that way and there we have just a really cute happy birthday card so that was the one the one I came up with just like I said I was kind of sitting in my head going I really want my plane to be colorful because I know when my mom was a wing walker and if you looked at pictures that I posted this afternoon you'll see that I do have um, a few out there of her and her the airplane she flew on was a red one. So I was like, okay, I have to do a red one now, right? So I wonder, now that I'm looking at this, how would the, these look on the wheel? Probably too much, right? Rivet, oops. As I just lost that, I don't know where it went. It's okay, I'll find it in a few weeks. All right, so let's put this little guy together. And there we go. All right, I guess I cut it a little goofy, but that's okay. All right, so we're gonna let that sit for a second. And um, I wanted to show you some of the other pieces in here. So you're probably wondering what the heck that is. Well, that's for pulling a banner. So we're gonna go ahead and create our little banner. And I'm gonna use the happy birthday again. Just remember, it's upside down. So we don't want to <laughs> do it the wrong way. 
but I need to figure out what color I want to use it. Do I do happy birthday in red? You know what? Um, I would if I had a red pad. Let's go over here and see if I have a red pad. Yep, here we go. All right. So I wanted to show you, because sometimes you get pieces and you go, I don't even know what that's supposed to be. So I wanted to make sure you guys knew that that's the little banner holder. You know how you see airplanes that um, fly and they're pulling banners? That's what that would be. So, and here's our banner. So again, I'm gonna use the happy birthday, but make sure I stamp it upside down. And can I get it on that little piece? I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. Ooh, look at that, you guys. That's the first time I've stamped that. All right, <laughs> let's get that out of the way. Okay, so then you're gonna take your little piece and you're going to put it, see how it fits right there? So you'll just put a little bit of glue on here. And again, I suppose you could have done adhesive sheets, but you know, I'm having conversations in my head and not thinking that that far ahead. All right, so let's put that on there. Let it hold down there for a second. Now here's where I'm struggling because it comes off your airplane like this, right? I suppose you could lay it like that so you could see the whole mechanism. But then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use this background so that was from that one sheet I showed you before so that's this piece right here and I just cut that out and I cut it a little smaller than it should be I cut it just so I had um, an eighth of an inch around there but now that I'm looking at that should I actually do my eighth of an inch in red let's try that we're gonna we're gonna try that for one second because again I was just kind of thinking outside the box here so you guys get to be in here creating with me isn't that fun uh, let's see so it needs to be an eighth so we're gonna do that way and then we're gonna do that way and you guys can tell me what you think is better the smoky slate or the red the real red so if I switched out my smoky slate, that might give it a real pop too, huh? So switch, oh, I don't want my smoky slate, I want this. So here is the real red. Oh yeah, that might be really fun, huh? Now that I'm looking at it. So we could do that. And then I was planning on like doing this with the banner coming off of it, but the banner might be too long. I don't know how I'm gonna do that now, you guys. Hmm. But I think I will do that. So we'll put that on our base real quick. Must have folded that weird that's all right all right and then that's gonna go there my card base is a little goofy but that's okay right so let's see I was thinking originally like this, but I really wanted to show you the little banner. Now, I will say, we have a small, smaller planes that you can cut out. So I'm gonna say now, now that I'm thinking about it, this is probably for one of the smaller planes that you can cut out, because your plane wouldn't be quite as long. So I think what I'm gonna do then is I am just going to pop this up, and I'll have to just create another card that uses that when you guys aren't watching me to go, what the heck is she doing over there? All right, let's do this. All right. Oh, we have to put propellers on, right? 
I have some more cut somewhere around here. So yeah, we'll just do kind of like this and that's the background. And then you can take your propellers and we'll do again what we did. I probably need to cut one more propeller, but I'll just put on what I have right now so you can kind of see what it uh, is doing. All right, isn't that fun? Now I just need a little person to be on the wing like my mom. Okay. All right, and then we're gonna do that. And like I said, I'll add another one later because I don't have another one cut. But then what we can do is we can take this uh, just like that one and we can put it across and create another birthday card. So th this is a great set for, of course, masculine. We're always complaining we don't have enough masculine stuff. But this, this would be good for masculine and for women, obviously, since... I'm kind of celebrating my mom here on that. Okay, so I did pretty good there again. We'll go ahead, we'll pop that up. This is such a fun, I love that you can build these little planes. Um, and like I said, there are a few other ones that you can cut out. Um, this is just the biggest one. And like I said, I kind of did it because of my mama. So we'll put this over here to kind of do that. You know, I don't want to totally cover up the cloud though. So let's make sure it's straight. My, my birthday might be a little crooked, but that's okay. Yeah, that's okay. So we, can, we could add now instead of like the, um, these little pieces, we could add some other kind of embellishment. And I'm thinking just rhinestones would look really fun there. Or maybe even these, have you seen these new, these are iridescent faceted gems. They kind of are like cloud-like. We could try that. Or let's see what else we have. Like I said, I'm thinking just kind of, <clears throat> we could do some rhinestones. If I have any, girl, do I have any rhinestones? Here we go, you got rhinestones. We got rhinestones. I think the rhinestones I'm going to do because they'll be shiny and fun. And we know we like the fun. All right, so don't forget, you guys, these bundles are now 20% off till the end of June. So don't miss out on that. Oh, should I do that? Or maybe I'll come back and do that. Okay. Need our little triangle of three. You could do that there. And then, and once I create the card with that little banner, I'll show you guys that too. So there you go. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Just so much fun. You could make this plane any color you want. Like I said, um, my mom's plane was a red one and that's why I did that. And she did have kind of red wings on it too, but they were like checkered. So I thought, well, I'll just put the gray cause they were like a red and gray checkered. Um, cause I did want you to be able to see, like, I didn't want it just all to blend in like that, but you can see I used smoky slate there. I used white there. So you could use any, you know, colors to build whatever color plane you want. And again, that is called the take to the sky suite and you can find it on page 36 of the annual catalog. And again, the bundle is an additional 10% off if you buy it before the end of June. So that's it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for stopping by and spending some time with me. Um, I hope you have a great week, and I will see you on Thursday. Happy stamping.